talk about you personally or uh, whatever you f- do. You have any things? Uh, hip yeah, fire? I want to address the whole uh, silverback thing, man. Do it's it. like um, it's true you mentioned before. A lot of I was gonna make separate videos about this, but like, Let's get it might as well address it now. You know, I love it because people still associate silverback with SLBK, okay. and which they should because it technically is the same kind of brand. Yeah, but what I want to like hammer home is that. It's how it evolved over time. So it started off uh, somewhat egotistical where it was just silverback. It's like a gorilla, it looked big. I was weighing in like 233. So it's like I put on, I was starting off training around 140-ish. I put on close to 100 pounds. And like, obviously some of it was fat too. Like a, a mm. good chunk of it was fat, but I had like a different look to me and I had a different kind of walk to me. And I remember someone just said, fuck, you look like a gorilla in like clothes. And I'm like, and I, I remember I said, then I started like um, writing my book, the, the program, and I didn't want like a complicated name. I just wanted like, I was thinking different names. I'm like, you know what, Silverback sounds pretty cool, you know? So I just ran with that. Hmm. But it was coming more from a place of ego, which is not necessarily bad either, but it was just about like, you know, let's, let's get fucking big, let's get a big ass back, big shoulders, big triceps, like the kind of like the muscles that kind of give you that pop to your physique. Mm-hmm. And um, then over time, you know, I cut some weight, stuff like just stuff started happening, and I told myself, "Look, I don't want to. I don't want that to be my identity anymore. It's cool if it was my identity before, but now there's like, that's not all I represent either. Mm-hmm. So then I, I started, but I didn't want to run away from the name either because I had to, I have to stand on it, I have to still own it. So I basically just took the same name, but I just changed the meaning up a bit. So I basically, I the silver basically stood for second place, silver. And the back stood for, stood for background. So silver back is basically someone who, they're just the underdog. They're always hungry. And, but they never actually, like, they always, they don't want to be, they, they want to be first place, but they're always putting themselves in positions and surrounding themselves with certain people where they're always second the place. Best, yeah. yeah. They, they'd rather be in that position than, than just be, the, like, the best in the room. You know, so that way they always have that hunger in them. Okay. Like, it's like the, the whole saying of a, um, the one on top of the mountain's never as hungry as the one climbing it. Mm. So it's like, this, and you always have like that second place underdog attitude. Shout out to Arnold. <laughs> he said that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sh- yeah. You know how in tune this guy was with motivation? I'm just sorry to cut you off, but quick, it, it adds to it. He was interviewed in like his uh, his movie uh, Iron, whatever it was called. the uh, mm. Pumping Iron or something? Pumping Iron, yeah, yeah. And then the interview was like, uh, but Arnold, like, um, like uh, what did he say? He's like, what does it feel like to be the wolf on top of the hill? Are you as hungry as the, wo- of the wolves coming up the hill? He's like, you might not be as hungry as the wolf's coming up the hill. And then Arnold's like, yes, that's true. But when the wolf is hungry, the food is there. <laughs> it was the Pretty same. much. But like he said that on the fly. Like that's how in the zone he was in, you know? <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then the back, special. the back stood for background. And background mm. is somebody who's not really noticed. They're just, they're in the background. Mm. And so that's basically where, where, what that stood for. And then over time, I told myself like, like we we're saying at the beginning of this interview, like I like shorter names. So I'm, I'm like, you know, silverback is starting to sound a bit long for me, mm-hmm. but I don't want to, I don't want to run from it either. So I'm still going to, I'm still going to own it. So I changed it up to like SLBK and just narrow, cut, cut a couple letters out of it. Mm-hmm. And so I was running with SLBK, you know, I had like the clothing going on. I was selling like some shirts on uh, like, like Teespring and stuff like that. And then I told myself, look, I want to, I want to take it up another notch because like I'm learning more stuff. So I want to, want the brand to evolve as I'm evolving. So I took those SLBK letters and without thinking too hard, I'm like, hey, what do these letters like mean to me? And within like five seconds, I'm like, okay, strength, it's important. Longevity, I want to be in this for a long haul. Balance, of course, and knowledge. So was, I basically ran with that and that's basically where it is right now. So the, the brand evolved from Silverback, more like, you know, egotistical, just, just be big um, to like the, the, the whole silver second place background. Yeah. So now what it currently is, is SLBK, strength, longevity, balance, knowledge. I love that. <laughs> and people could call people could call it what they want. They could still call it silverback. So what silverback really is right now, just to kind of clear it up, it's the ebook that I'm selling. Right, right, right. The ebook is not called SLBK, it's called Silverback. Okay. And I had an unofficial copy. Now I have the official that got released a couple months back. And like shout out to everybody who's been supporting that ebook. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Sweet. And yeah, I hope I hope that like clears and settles some of the dust and i try to make it a point in every photo that i post to to put my hashtags slbk strength longevity balance knowledge 
and it's, it worked out so well. That's such a catchy. It, it, it did. It did, but like it, it took a while for people to catch on. And hopefully, when they see this, the transition. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. But if they if they don't see it, it's not the end of the world either. You know. <laughs> but it's cool that it evolved with you and like you you own it, like you were saying, like you you know. The, it wasn't bad. It was just a little more uh, ego driven, a little more about the look and the and the, right acquiring a certain look. That's it. And then you're like, look, I'm, that's not what I'm about anymore. Maybe a little bit still, but like, yeah, that is my past, and I'm I'm owning it. There's no shame. There's no. Mm. I love that man. You're just like, you're like, uh, it's it's momentum. You built on it. You you don't yeah. have to get rid of it. And for me, I guess I, I overthink that kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh, no, I got to hide that. Like, that was a shitty first side of myself. And it's like, no, that's still in me a little bit. And there wasn't, there was a lot of good in that too. Yeah. But you, you wanted something different or something more for yourself and your content and your, and your clients and your, right. and your views and, and everything. And, and it just kind of slid naturally into what you wanted. And it keeps right. doing that. And, uh, and the name changes with it, and uh, I just like that. It's but, like, uh, but there's nothing necessarily wrong with a little bit of ego. If it's not, if it's if it's controlled ego, oh for sure, you it's know? a drive. It's, it's a motivator and a driver for yeah, sure. Man, like it's like yeah. you, who's gonna be confident for you? Like, oh, that's so well put. Fuck, dude. You I, wanna, yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with having a little, just a little bit of like. I don't want to say cockiness, but like. The confidence isn't gonna fall on your lot, man. So you gotta constantly like find ways to just. Are you are you happy in your own skin? You know, do you wake up in the morning thinking mm -hmm. like, wow, like I'm, I feel super good right now. I like the way I, I like the way I feel. I like the yeah. the vibe I'm giving off. I like the way I look too. It, it's a definitely a tool, man. But it's important not to let the ego intoxicate you because when that happens, right, you right. become the ego. It's like you go down the spiral and then you're expecting like all these these negative aspects of over overusing the ego can come with it but if you can check your ego and just have that that that, that hint flavor of the ego coming in to yeah help motivate, it, it's good to have man you know and, and e everyone's egotistical to a certain extent too you know we're bound by it man we're especially with social media bro like i don't care i don't care who you are like you're checking you're checking who's liking your stuff like, yeah i don't care i, I really like <laughs> It's just part of so the game. Some people are even checking, like, who likes, like, who, who's looking, like, at their stories sometimes, you know? <laughs> people go far, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's just the game, you know? But making that, when you, when I say intoxicating by your, intoxicated by the ego, that that becomes the driving force is, oh, he's checking, oh, they're checking, I got to keep going for these. That's where the ego gets fed and can get stronger than the person that's trying to, to what you're right. trying to put out. And that's where you got to kind of tone it down and, and keep your ego in check, whether it's through... Yeah destroying yourself at the gym because that's a great way to smash down the ego when you do like a hard workout right or like a meditation or something just to always keep yourself in check and always self-reflect and observe and what's going on you're going back to your the meanings behind what you're doing like now you have the four letters each one has a meaning behind it so mm. it's like it went from just like the image to now like this abbreviation that each one is just has like a depth so it's like it represents like a, like some kind of idea yeah it's and it's important to, to, to honor that idea and keep yeah. it about that not about the silverback but about the slbk yeah and yeah. who knows man maybe yeah. maybe in a couple months or a couple years silverback comes back this will maybe this will this won't even be relevant anymore and i'll be on like some new stuff yeah as far as right now in time in 2020 this is what it is fuck it go with the wave and, man yeah of course and create your own wave too you know that's it um also like regarding ego i find that i really got a lot some ideas from the ego is the enemy book but like the world doesn't revolve around me either. And I feel like it's very easy in the lifting world for people it, to get in a very egotistical state. You know, you post like your selfies and stuff. And like, but you're the thing is, if you're, if you're not posting those and people are like, oh, well, you're hiding. And you, you, like, you want to show what you, what you got too. And also yeah. if, you're, if you're just kind of posting these kind of photos where it's just, people want to see what's going on. They want to see like that, like, hey, this guy's confident. This guy, I could be confident too. Like, so there is a little bit, like it, it's, it, it is pretty, I think it was Jeff Nipper who said this, like he, it's pretty easy to disguise your vanity, like in the fitness world. Mm. Cause you're like, oh, I'm just doing bodybuilding, you know? And then it's just like, you're on stage and like, everyone's looking at you. It's so right it's, there. It's like controlled. It's yeah. Point it has to be yeah. controlled, you know? Mm. But you can that, look that, like you're motivating others, but it's like, look at me. You, like there's a lot of hype yeah, you can do with it. But that. you also want to show people like, like, okay, you got the results are there. So it's a very like gray area. That's but it. it's hard like to you're detach showing your body off. yeah it's hard to detach art. the ego to it because it's addressing the the body you know yeah exactly it's, it's interesting it's, it's like you're putting your body on display but you also got to keep the ego in check <laughs> exactly <laughs> the, took the words out of my mouth yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. a tough field man that is a yeah that's a trap man yeah you're 
you're you're like look the work that paid off you're showing your abs or you're showing your shoulders or yeah. something and, but it is literally you're like yo look at me bro and it's like it's yeah it's it's so it's there's a thin thin line yeah but i've come to the acceptance that there's a bit of both you know that's it that's what that's what because a part of me man is as vain as or whatever as it sounds like a part of me does want to show hey like i started off here and look at me here but i also want to show people like that i'm just an example yeah. And and you can learn from a lot of my past experiences. Mm. So that way, if you like it, if you like these kind of transformations that I'm showing you, hopefully I can get you to have a, a, sim, a somewhat of a similar transformation or, or become like a better version of yourself. Yeah. With yeah. with an, at a faster rate because I've been through a lot of the stuff. That's it. Yeah. You wanna you wanna and, yeah, save just, people the lumps. Yeah, and, and they're still gonna have to go through their own things, but they'll be able to learn from a lot of what I went through. Well, hopefully. Well, it's because yeah. you've set the pay, like you've, you've done the, the work, you went through the path. So you kind of have a, a map, a direction to go that you can kind of share. They're going to still do their right. own way, but at least you have some wisdom that maybe they don't do a couple of U-turns that they, that you can help them avoid. Right, right, know? right. Especially but, beginners. Yeah. But that's a big thing in individual sports is that because you'll see this in the bodybuilding example, but fighters, another example, and any sport where it's just you and the spotlights on you, it's important to really check the ego. Because you hear it all the time, fighters who retire in their 40s, they're done. They, they've said in interviews before, they've lost their identity. They don't know who they are because that's all they knew was fighting. And that's what they were validated on was their, their performance in fighting, you know? Yeah. So it's important like to have that ego, f do your task, but keep it in the fucking, tr put it in the passenger seat every now and then. You know? Yeah. Don't let it drive too The world much. doesn't revol revolve around you, you know? Yeah. You have, you have a big impact on the world. And I, re I read this word quote the other day called, it said universe, and it had the word you in it. Nice. And it's true, man, because like everybody does have an impact. That's a good Even point, if you man. don't want to be like um, a role model, you still are a role model. Cause 